Hi folks, welcome back to my World of Tanks replays with the mighty jingles. As you can see, I've unlocked the Batch app. Um, this was actually only the second game I played in it. Um, the more alert amongst you can also see that this Batch app is completely 100% stock. You see, I have a bit of a problem. Um, I've unlocked it with about a week to go before patch 7.5 goes live. And in patch 7.5, obviously, the Batch app becomes a tier 10 medium tank. And the only upgrade it has is the 105mm gun. So that means that here at tier 9, I don't really want to be wasting experience researching suspension, which is going to be free at tier 10, and researching the top engine, which is going to be free at tier 10. In fact, the only thing you need to spend experience on when the Batch has tier 10 is the new 105mm gun. So I do want the 105mm gun, and to get that I'm going to have to spend experience, which means I need to play the batch out. But because I'm a tight ass, and I don't want to waste experience on the suspension or the engine, that means I have to play the batch out completely stock. And because I don't have the upgraded suspension, I mean completely stock. I have to play it with a 90mm gun. Which basically means that this thing is a big AMX 1390. So, yeah. But you know what? It still kicks ass. So I've made it under the bridge. Um, and now I don't know what to do while I'm here. I mean, we've got some big, nasty, heavy tanks over that side. We the and over on the other side, there's a T-44 taking pot shots at anybody who sticks the nose out on the dry riverbed. Uh, and he's got friends with him too. So, yeah, what to do? Well, it turns out the T-44 has decided that discretion is the better part of valor, and he's going somewhere else. So, okay, my, my back's safe. Let's go and get stuck in with these fellas. But, three shots left. And this 90mm gun is definitely not a sniping weapon. I'm probably going to need to go for a reload. But the good thing about using the stock weapons um, on the batch app is that 90mm does reload pretty quickly. I can't remember the exact time. I think it was around about 27 seconds. Which isn't bad. Now I take a hit here because that's actually a T-34 which we have not detected. So I'm going to go for an external camera view here so you can see what's going to happen. Tiger 2 gets killed. Ferdinand can't turn to track me because he's wedged in beside that dead Tiger 2. There's the T-34. Come on, reload, 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 reload. And reloaded. Now something that you never, ever, 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 ever want to do unless you are desperate. In the bat chat, with the 90mm gun, because it's just like the AMX 3090, is fire on the move because you'll miss. Enemy vehicle destroyed. And suddenly we're on two kills. Which is nice. So we go for another reload, because we only have one shot left. Let's go hunting artillery. And I... I there's, there's no getting around it. I do do something incredibly stupid here. But I get away with it. So there's a Lorraine 15550 artillery and an SU-14 school bus artillery. And I am so incredibly stupid that I stop and park in front of the SU-14. Well, I get away with it. He misses. And then I go chasing after the Lorraine. Two shots left should be enough to kill it. But he's pretty fast. Um, I see that T-44 over on the left there, and I think well, the T-44 would have seen him if he went left, so he must have gone right, so I can make a an artillery sandwich between myself and that Ferdinand. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. Turns out, yeah, I'm completely wrong. Ferdinand comes over the bridge. No sign of the Lorraine. Sneaky little bugger. He must have run off that way. So, let's go for a reload, turn around, go catch him. Get stuck on the 
rock. Uh, you know, even with the stock engine and the stock suspension and the stock gun, this thing is still really, really quick. But first, I'm pretty sure I saw that T-44. Yeah, there he is. on the move. Luckily, I hit him. And I know the T-44 is going to slow reload. Ah, it's going to take me time to get back up there, so we'll go for another reload. And we're on four kills. What the hell? It's a stock batch out, for God's sake. It still kicks ass. And it is fun to drive. I'm, I'm only sorry that I'm not going to be able to drive this thing fully upgraded at tier 9 because that's got to be a lot of fun but having played it on the test server as a tier 10 medium it, it's still fun it ain't the best tier 10 medium but it's a lot of fun to drive ooh, IS4 uh, get some rocks between me and him E75 gets one into it Okay, this time I am going to stop and A. Hey, six shots, I should be able to kill him. Come on, uh, penetrate, yeah, but do some damage please. Thank you. Um, uh, okay, then there's that artillery <laughs> that I failed to kill earlier. He's actually the one that gets the killing blow on me. But, hell's bells. I mean, it's my one regret. So I didn't get to play this thing more at tier 9. Um, as I said, I'm never going to get to play it fully upgraded with a 100mm gun and the top engine and suspension because I'm cheap and <laughs> I don't want to waste experience researching something now that I'm going to get for free in a week's time. But um, this thing still kicks ass. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to drive. I mean, it's no Lorraine. Um, and when I say that, I mean... You don't really play it exactly the same way that you play the Lorraine. It's 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 weird. I mean, it's it's definitely faster in a straight line, but it doesn't. And it, it is very manoeuvrable, but it just doesn't feel the same kind of manoeuvrability as the Lorraine feels. I realise this is a fairly uh, subjective interpretation, but um, and again, that may just be because I'm running on the stock suspension. Um, and I'm running on the stock engine. My Lorraine is fully upgraded. It's been a leap for a long time. But this is just as much fun to drive. Um, and in a few days, it's going to be a tier 10 medium. And I'll have that stock uh, upgraded suspension. And I'll have that upgraded engine. And then I just need to start grinding away for the 105mm gun. But I'll be able to fit the 100mm gun because I'll already have it researched and unlocked on the Lorraine. So this was, um, this was a bit of an eye-opener. Um... I'm looking forward to playing this thing at tier 10. I've played it at tier 10 on the test server. And it's not a bad machine. It's not the greatest tier 10 medium tank, but it's still a lot of fun. And as you can see, even stock in a tier 10 game, <laughs> this thing kicks ass. So that was a completely completely 100% stock batch at racking up four kills on Mountain Pass in a tier 10 match. Great tank. I wish I got to know it sooner. Catch you next time.